everyone, I'm Amy with Booktubing Amy and today I'm reviewing Chained by Night by Larissa Ione. So this this is the second book in the Moonbound Clan Vampire series, that's a mouthful. The first book was Bound by Night and I loved it so much. I'll put a little icon over here that you can click on and it, you can see my review. I sang through a whole lot of it and it was so good. One of the reasons I loved that book so much was the fact that it basically hit me on the side of the face because, I mean, I was in a reading slump before and then I read that book and it was like, whoa, this is one of the reasons I love reading and she's an awesome author and it's amazing. So that's probably the reason I loved it so much. If you want more of me singing and I'll tell get an in-depth review, click on this icon over here. And it'll take you to that. So this book is part of Pocket Books, which is part of Simon & Schuster's uh, organization, and I got it from Melissa, so thank you very much. And thank you, Miss Larissa Ion, for giving me an opportunity to uh, read this book, or get an advanced reader's copy. I thought this was so cool. It, it's, it's white and white on the back. I thought this was really cool. I, I've never seen an advanced reader copy. I've only got Net Gallery, or Net Galley, excuse me, advanced reader copy. So this is really neat. It's on my shelves. I'm going to have to, like put a little sticky note on it or something to make sure I know which one. But it shouldn't be hard to find because it's the only one with the white spine. I'm getting off topic. Okay, so this book is an amazing book. I give it five stars. I loved it so much. If I'm being truthfully honest though, I liked the first one better only because that one hit me on the side of the face. This one, I kind of knew it was coming because I read the first book and loved it so much, so I just loved this one again. But I think the first one will be my favorite book just because it got me out of the reading slump. So in this book, Hunter is the main guy in charge, and they're vampires, yeah, just so you know, they're vampires. And Hunter is the main guy in charge, and he is awesome, and an awesome leader, <sighs> and he's pretty hot, so there's that. Anyway, Hunter is the guy in charge, and in the last book, uh, that there was a cliffhanger, yay cliffhangers, but in the last book, he was promised to marry another guy's, another director's daughter, her name was Rasha, and she is not a nice person at all. I, I mean, I got to about page, oh, maybe page 28, and they were in the forest running around, and I was like, I hope she dies. Just, I hope she dies. That would be so much easier on, on the hunter. And Rasha's sister, who are twins, Alin, Al I hope that I'm saying that right, Alin. I'm going to call her Alin. A-Y-L-I-N. Alin. Close enough. Anyway, and it, let me tell you, in the first scene when they actually meet each other, I'm not going to spoil you because I read it and laughed so loud because it, of what happened. But it's just so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And the writing style. Okay, if you were following my tweets when I was reading this book, I was tweeting how much I want to write like Larissa Ion. And actually, I did a video, I also put a little icon right here that you can click on, and I actually did a video of, of writing top five authors I wish I could write like. And I think she was first. I'm pretty sure she was first. She was definitely on the list, I know that, and I held up this book. I wasn't finished with it yet, but I am now. Yay! But anyway, this is a book of... Hunter trying to like Rasha, the guy, the girl she's, he's supposed to marry, but doesn't like, even, and he's attracted to Lynn, and it's interesting to see that because they're technically twins, but he, it's obvious he doesn't like the sister that he's supposed to end up with, because where would be the fun in that? So, this book actually caught me very off guard too. Uh, not as much as the first one, though, but this one caught me off guard because of the plot, more like. So, you know, it's a romance novel, so you can guess the main two characters are gonna end up together. I mean, I'm not, just, I'm not like, spoiling any big spoilers. I mean, they are, because that's how romances all end. Um, the travel get there is kind of difficult sometimes. But anyway, uh, what really surprised me is the fact that Hunter stayed with the sister he was supposed to, Rasha, for so long, I was really getting concerned and I was really getting starting to sweat because I thought it might be different and I was very scared because it, I don't want her, him to end up with that mean lady who I wanted to die, her to die, but it's so good. It's so good. I'm almost doing up now thinking about it, but she, oh, I want to give her you spoilers, but I can't because that's what makes one of these books so great. 
So Hunter and Ashlyn uh, had a scene together, I'm not going to spoil you, but this was the, my favorite part of the whole book right here, because it was in the first hundred pages because it was so funny. But this is the after effects, so I'm not going to tell you what happened, but this is one of the favorite quotes, and like I do with all my reviews, I'm going to give you two scenes, or two short scenes that I thought was really funny. So, maybe two, like a couple lines, so I'll just start. With the electric effects of his blood coursing through her system, she didn't need the alcohol, but she snatched the bottle from him anyway and took a sip. Big mistake. She might as well have swallowed kerosene. She coughed and wheezed, her eyes watering madly. Not used to drinking, huh? Hunter. He. It says he, but it's Hunter. He took the bottle from her. What's your first clue, she rasped. The choking or the crying? He laughed a deep, musculine sound that vibrated the air in her blood. The whiskey face, best one ever. I thought that was so cute. I've, I've never heard of a whiskey face and I just thought that was so funny. Okay, now for another scene. Okay, so the other scene I wanted to show you or tell you or read to you was one scene, do you remember in, I'm asking you like you're right there. Remember in Belle, Beauty and the Beast, how the Beast takes Belle into the big library and all of us booktubers just, just go on, <gasps> So cool! Okay, so something like that happens almost exactly in the book. So, I'm gonna read a little scene from that. Uh, so, they're in the library, and Alan, Ashley, Alan, <sighs> names, says to Hunter, This is amazing, she said. Can I borrow a book where I, while I'm here? Borrow whatever you want. That's the li what, that's what the library's for. He watched her gaze flit around the room, and he wondered what made books so magical for some. Who are your favorite authors? Author, excuse me. Closing her eyes, she lifted the Harry Potter books or book to her nose and inhaled all of them. You, okay. This is like me. I love it so much because Harry Potter. Ah, uh, so you can actually see what kind of books Lars Ion loves to read because I love it when you can tell that with a with an author. And then he tells her favorite. Uh, his he tells her some of her favorite books, and it's just I just. I love that she sniffs books, because all of us booktubers do that. I mean, all of a sudden we'll pick up a book. This is a brand new book, so it doesn't really have the smell. But this one, example, see how it has been well-loved? You used to make a smell. It smells like books, and it's amazing. And all of us, who are, and whoever is watching this video, if you're a booktuber, you totally 100% understand. But if you're not, you're probably thinking I'm crazy. But go smell a book from the old, from the library. Don't get a brand new one or, or a brand new hardback because you, you won't be able to tell. But go get a used book. Go to or go to a used bookstore, bookstore, and smell, and you're definitely able to t to smell the difference. And so that's one of the most, the greatest smells ever, I, I think, because you know books. And, I don't know. I think that's one of the greatest smells ever. And I love the fact that a character does that because I've never ever read that a character does that in a book. And I just love this book so much. I give it five stars on Goodreads. Ah, oh, it's amazing! And you know what's really sad? The fact that I'm going to have to wait about a year for the next one to come out. And I really want to know at least who it is so I can like prepare myself for the next one because I'm so excited about the next one. One of the things that is different from the first book and this book is the fact that on the there is no cliffhanger, so it nice was a complete story, and I wasn't like, oh, I wanna, uh, how dare you? But I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous and kind of happy because because I want the next book to come out. I kind of want to know what it's gonna be about, but apparently she's still writing the the outline of it right now. So I really want to have this book like right now. That's the thing about being caught up on your series is the fact that you have to wait for the next one to come out, and the waiting takes. For Ever. But I'm so excited about the next book. I, I have, okay, so I'm going to take a prediction of who's going to be next. Okay, so my prediction of the next character that's going to be, next male character that's going to be featured is Braddon, one of Hunter's friends, like one of his like high-ranking officials in his, uh, the Moon Clan, Moonbound Clan Vampire group. That's who I'm guessing. And I have no idea what's going to happen next. It's kind of scary. Oh, and there is one really, one, okay. I usually don't read mysteries because I can pretty much guess 
what's going to happen because it's a mystery. But I love it when a book can catch you off guard and make you be thinking one thing and all of a sudden off to the right and think a totally different thing. Something like this happens in the end. Don't put it in the comments. Obviously, I know. But don't put it in the comments. But when you read it, it's towards the end. I'll give you that. It's towards the end. But once you read it, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, this is so different. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. But you will see when you read it. Okay, so I just looked on my computer and apparently it comes out on September 30th this year, so a couple days away. So make sure to put this in your Amazon uh, pre-order or Kindle or however, paperback, hardback, I don't think it's going to sell hardback, paperback or Kindle, whatever you choose. I'll put a link in the description below to go to Amazon because that's where I do most of my shopping. Oh, that's where most of my paycheck and a little bit more than most of my paycheck goes. But you so totally, totally, totally should pick this up. It's so good. Oh, I can't wait to read the next one, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, with all that fangirlness going on, I hope you have had a great week. Um, I'm really sorry about not putting up a video on Monday. It's my, my senior year of college and test, I have a test like every week and in one class I have seven tests when I usually have three. So it's kind of a hectic schedule but I'm going to get through it and I'm going to be putting a video every week, every week but it may not be on Monday. I'm going to try to put up a video on Monday but it may not be on that day. So did you read this book? Are you excited to read this book? Are you going to purchase this book? A little deal little, little you there. Make sure to comment below. I love reading comments. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you next week with a new Booking It Whatever Day Comes Out video. And as always, go find You're in a Reader. See ya!